Problem number 10. The cost of a new TV, including tax, is $490.50. If the tax rate is 9%, what was the price before taxes? This is one of our increase or decrease problems. Uh, if we are adding on tax, it's going to be an increase. So our formula is original. And we do plus if it's an increase, minus if it's a decrease, will equal the final. And most of the time you have to do a calculation on the increase or decrease. The percentage times the original. Right, so this time our original is what we don't know. We know the selling price including the tax. So we know the final, which is $490.50, right? We don't know the original. In algebra, what do we do when we don't know something? We use a variable. So we call our original x. This second piece is also going to include the x. It's the percentage times the original, which is the x. The percent is the 9% Remember, you have to switch it to a decimal. So drop your percent and go two places to the left. So it's 0 0.09 times x. Now you have a regular linear equation. You're going to put your like terms together. You have to remember that your coefficient of x is a 1. So you have 1 plus 0 0.09 is 1.09x equals 490.50 and then we're ready to solve. So we're going to divide on both sides by 1.09 and that will give us x. This is a nice calculator problem. Make sure you punch it in top to bottom and that will give us four hundred fifty dollars. Problem 11. In 2010 the population of a certain city was 1,500,000. From 2010 to 2050 the population increased 40 percent. Find the population in 2050. So this is going to be a percent increase problem. Our formula, remember, is original. If it's going to increase, we add. And this will equal our final. This time we know the original, which is 1,500,000. That's the population in 2010. So that's where we were starting. And I'll put these commas just to help us see all those. Our increase is 40%, switch it to a decimal. So drop your percent and go two places to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.40 or 0 0.4, uh, doesn't matter if you put the zero, times our original. And that will equal our final. So you have to go with order of operations here. First you have to calculate this increase and that is a good calculator problem which will give you 600,000. Just be careful punching it in and then you're going to add it to a million five hundred thousand. That will equal your final. Also a good calculator problem here. Two million one hundred thousand equals the final. Problem 12 asks us to graph. Uh, this is a linear equation. It is in slope-intercept form, which means the y is isolated. You can pick off the slope, which is your coefficient of the x, a negative 5 thirds, and your y-intercept will be the 3. So our m, uh, we have to put the negative on the top or the bottom to move with it, so I'll put it on the numerator and my y-intercept is 0, 3. Plot your y-intercept first. 
So over 0, up 3, make a point. From that point, count with your slope. We're going to go down 5 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to the right 3 spaces, 1, 2, 3, make a new point. And then you will connect the dots to draw your line. Our next equation, we're going to graph, but it is not in slope-intercept form. We could do intercepts, or we could isolate the y and then use slope. I think I will isolate the y. So if I want to isolate the y, first I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. If I subtract it on the left, it's going to be gone. So I'll have negative 2y equals 8 minus 7x. And then I'm going to divide by my negative 2. And when you do lines, you do it all the way across. We'll clean up. So I get y equals negative 4. You have two negatives here. That will give you a positive 7 halves x. Now you can pick off your slope and your y-intercept. Your y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 4. And your slope is always the coefficient of the x. It doesn't matter if your equation is turned around once you have y isolated. All right. So we're going to first plot our intercept 0, negative 4. Don't go over, but go down 4. Make a point. From there, we're going to go up or rise 7 and then go across or run 2. So we're going to go up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and to the right, 2, make a point, and then we will connect the dots to make our line. Problem 14 is a special equation, and the way that you know that is it only has one variable. I'm going to do something just to help me remember which way it goes. It's either vertical or horizontal, but just in case I forget, I can make a quick little chart. My x has to be 3 for all of my values. I can put any y that I want, so I'll just do 0, 1, 2. I don't have to even do any math. So I will do 3, 0, and 3, 1 and 3, 2. So this is giving me a vertical line. Anytime I have x equals some constant, it will be a vertical line. Problem 15 also only has one variable. So it's a special line. Since x was a vertical line, this one is probably a horizontal line. But let's just do a little quick table to help us. So we have to have x and y, but our y has to be negative 2. Since there is no x, we can have any x we want. We don't even have to do any math. So over 0 and down 2, over 1 and down 2, over 2 and down 2. And so this is a horizontal line through y equals negative 2. So anytime you just have y equals something, it will be a horizontal line.